let's determine the lattice rectum and its ends. The lattice rectum is a line segment containing the focus, but its ends are actually points on the parabola. These two equ standard equations of a parabola here were already graphed in the previous two videos. You might want to check those videos out later. But for number one, we, are, we have already graphed that this parabola is opening downward. So it's uh, just a short uh, representation as the focus is somewhere here and the directrix is on the opposite side. For number two, it is a parabola that opens towards the left with its focused in this area here and the directrix is on the opposite side. Now again, the lattice rectum is a line segment passing through the focus. So for number one, the lattice rectum should pass the focus but should end at specific points on the parabola. So if I'm going to have this as my parabola, my lattice rectum is this one parallel to the directrix. Okay, again, the lattice rectum is parallel to the directrix and with its ends here and here. As for the second, since its focus is here and the directrix is vertical and the lattice rectum is parallel to the directrix, so it should look like this with its ends also found here. Okay. Since we are not asked here to, to graph, so let's not graph them, but, but we are going to determine the lattice rectum. The lattice rectum here is the length of this line segment. Okay. The, uh, it's, uh, I would like to make it clear, lattice rectum is the length of the line segment. So we are going to solve first with the length and later on determine what are the ends of the lattice rectum. If I say ends, they're actually points on the parabola. To do that, we could actually, uh, again, refer to the standard form of this parabola here. This is actually x squared is equal to 4py, okay? So it's 4py, and why do we have this? It's because to solve for the lattice rectum and to help us to get their, its ends later, we need to solve first p. And again, this in the previous video, we can simply compare this. And you have here negative 6 is equal to 4p. To solve for that, divide both sides by 4. p is negative 6 over 4. Or better yet, it's negative three halves. We used this p value before to solve for our focus and the, the, the directrix. But this time, we're going to determine the length of the lattice rectum. The length or the, the lattice rectum itself. The lattice rectum is given to us by, let's just simply use r here. Okay, I'm just, just going to make it short. Or, it's okay, let's try to have the word itself. Latus rectum okay, is equal to the absolute value of 4p. The reason why it is it has an absolute value is we consider the lattice rectum to be the length of the line segment. And if you talk about length, it is, it, is a, it is a measurement. And all measurements are positive. That's why we have this absolute value. So for number one, the lattice rectum is 4 times negative 3 halves and take its absolute value. That's actually cancel here and here you will get 2. Okay, cancellation law. And then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. So if we're going to look at the graph, the length of our the lattice rectum here, this va the value for the length of this line segment is actually six units, okay? Six units. And then with that, we could be guided also that half of this, in short, from the focus to just one of the ends is actually three units. What's the purpose for this? 
because we can just analyze this. Uh, we, we can just analyze our graph and come up with the ends of the lattice rectum. In the previous video, in the uh, first video of this um, lesson, or uh, yes, chapter, uh, lesson rather, our focus there is actually given to be negative uh, zero, negative three halves. Again, you might want to check this out. And then if you're going to look at this as a horizontal line and looking at the ends here, we are just moving the values of the x, this area here. Again, we are just moving the values of the x, okay? This area here uh, to get our, uh, our value for our ends of the lattice rectum. So if that would be the case, from zero to three units here, we may, we need to expect that one of the ends of the lattice rectum is at three, or rather negative three and negative three halves, and the other to the right, three three units from zero here is actually three, positive three and then negative three halves. Without even the formula, we can analyze already the endpoints. But if some of us are still struggling with a sh sort of analysis, we do have a summarized formula to get the ends of the lattice rectum. And that, that is actually positive, negative 2p, and then p. This is the formula in getting the ends of the lattice rectum if the parabola is opening either upwards or downwards. So we are going to use this. As for this, we uh, we have two values. We have the other uh, both sides, the left and the right ends. So we can simply break them. And let's see later on if we still end with this. So you have positive or negative 2p and then p. And then you have here uh, positive 2p and then p. Or if you would like to interchange, it's okay as long as one of the x coordinate is negative 2p and the other is positive. Our p here is given as this. So simply substitute negative 3 halves. So our ends of the lattice rectum is negative 2 times negative 3 halves, comma, negative 3 halves. This is for the first end. And the second end is 2 times negative 3 halves. That's for the x-coordinate. And for the y-coordinate is negative 3 halves here as well. Simply simplify this. You will have 2. Cancel here 2. Negative times negative 3. You have positive 3. And then the partner is negative 3 halves. For the other side, that's canceled out. So you have negative 3 and then negative 3 halves. As you can see from our analysis earlier here, we have this. These are the ends of the lat lattice rectum just by the use of analysis that since the lattice rectum has, is six units, so the half of it is a three, and we just simply under analyze that the movement of three is horizontally, so we're going to change the y value, rather the x coordinate. So movement to the left is negative three, movement to the right is positive three. We have these two ends, but with the use of the same formula here, we also got the same ends of the lattice rectum. So again, lattice rectum is the length or the length of the line segment passing through or containing the focus, and the ends are points on the parabola. Okay. And then the ends of the parabola are taken from this formula. This is for number one because our graph is either is opening down, downwards. For number two, it is opening sidewards. You may again want to revisit the previous video. As for this, our value for p here will also be followed by comparing this to its standard form for uh, y squared is equal to 4 px. And you have here negative 6 is equal to 4. P will yield P, divide both sides by 4. In lowest term, you will still get 3, negative 3 halves. We use this again to get our uh, focus and directrix in the previous video. But we are going to use this to get our lattice rectum. Now, the formula for the lattice rectum will not, be, uh, will not change 
even if uh, the parabola is opening upwards downwards or to the sidewards. Why? Because it's still talking about the length. So it's like this, the length. So we have here the latus rectum. Again, latus rectum. This is equal to the absolute value of 4p still. And substitute, you have 4 times negative 3 halves, which will yield negative, sorry, negative 6. And the absolute value of 6 is also 6. Again, you can use your analysis saying that the length of this lattice rectum is 6. So the half is 3 and 3. The half meaning the distance of the focus to any of the two ends of the lattice rectum. And you can just simply say the movement now is actually for the y-axis. Axi y so we change the y-coordinates on the focus. The focus for that before in the previous video is negative 3 halves and then 0. And then you can use your analysis for that. But we can also use the formula. But the formula for the ends of the lattice rectum, if the parabola is opening sidewards, we are just going to interchange this coordinates here. It is actually 2, sorry, 2, and uh, not 2, P, sorry, and then the part here is positive negative 2P. Again, interchange because the opening now is not anymore upward or downward. It's now opening towards the left or right. Simply substitute the values. So for the first, you have P and you have the positive 2P and the second end is P and the negative 2P. Sorry. So the P is negative 3 halves. Here we have 2 times negative 3 halves. And here you will have negative 3 halves. Sorry for that. And then you have negative 2 and negative 3 halves here. Just like that. And then cancel this, cancel that here as well. So you will have negative 3 halves and negative 3 for the first end. And the second end, you will have negative 3 halves, sorry. And then negative times negative, you have positive 3. So these are now the ends of the latus rectum. Okay? We could also further analyze that. If we talk about number one, let's go back to number one. We have two ends here, the rightmost end and the leftmost end. Looking at the uh, ends of the lattice rectum here, this point is on the left of the, uh, the Cartesian plane. So it, it, it has a negative value for x. So this is your left end, not land, huh? left end. This is your right end. Okay, just for additional analysis. But for number two, since the lattice rectum is a vertical line, the ends are either top or bottom. So just by examining this, this is where y is positive. So this is your top end. And then for the other, it has negative value for y. It should be here. This is your bottom end. So in each of the lattice rectum, definitely there are two ends. And these points here, this one, this one, this are these also here, are actually points on the parabola where the lattice rectum intersects. Please use this video as part of your review and please try and answer this again so that you would know what are the basic steps. Thank you very much and goodbye.